Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode for Growing Together. So Miss Little Patricia here, even though she's really thinking adorable and I hate to say it, but today's her birthday and she's gonna be aging up into a toddler. She's still gonna be thinking adorable, but like I'm gonna miss her as an infant. She's so thinking cute. I got quite a bit of her not skills what do you call them <laughs> what do you call these things again oh milestones right i got quite a bit of her infant milestones up and i've decided that now would actually be the perfect time to eat her up so i'm just gonna quickly go through the milestones that she got so we got pincher grass we got wave clap put toe in mouth learn to grab learn to reach First finger food, first baby food, pee on caregiver, first diaper blowout, she slept through the night, and had her first bath and bubble bath. She learned to crawl, pull to stand, to sit up, to creep, roll up her tummy, roll up the back, and lift her head. She was born. <laughs> and she learned to blow raspberries, babble, laugh, cue, and she had her first smile. So those are the milestones that she got. and. I think she actually got the same amount of milestones as Aiden when he was an infant. So it only felt right to age her up now. So we're gonna do that today. I set up the backyard to be decorated for her birthday party. I didn't want to do anything too crazy. I just wanted to have something simple where family and some friends could come over and hang out. So we're just gonna do any backyard and today's well not only today but today's the start of summer vacation. So I'm looking forward to that as well. I believe she's doing some tummy time on her own right now, so maybe she might unlock one more milestone before we age her up. So I'm gonna let her do her thing up here. Um to update you guys though. Aiden is now a child. I decided to age him up off camera. I didn't do anything crazy. It was just a simple birthday party for him. I invited over some family like we're doing today. And he had a nice birthday party. So he's now a child. And oh my goodness. I changed his hair. Don't worry. So he doesn't look like his dad's twin in a younger form. So I did give him a different hairstyle and he just looks so good, so cute. I see so much of his dad in him but now that he's a bit older, I could see like itsy bits of his mom in there as well. So I'm happy about that. Next thing that I want to update you guys on is on Marcella. So as we found out last episode, Marcella wanted to have another child. and. It's been some time, I've had some time to think about it, and I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna have the woohoo, if they get pregnant, then they get pregnant, if they don't, they don't, and of course, as Marcella wished, she is pregnant, so there's another child on the way, I have the pregnancy pause for right now, cause I just wanna focus on the family members that we have currently, we not too long had a baby shower, so I don't want to do anything like that again for like a little while. So we're just going to focus on James, Marcella, Aiden, and Patricia, as well as Charlie for right now. We might just do like a simple pregnancy announcement at Patricia's birthday party when everyone comes, but that's it. Other than that, Marcella is excited and she's wondering if it's a boy or a girl and thinking about baby names. Maybe we'll go get an ultrasound tomorrow. And her and James are obviously happy to welcome in more children. It's just, I'm personally not ready to handle another, but it's okay. I was just like, you know what? If they want another, sure, we have the space in the house. And I also just wanted to have the kids be somewhat close in age. So I was just like, you know what? It's fine. She is having a little bit of morning sickness, but it's not taking over her excitement and it's also just really happy because 
Her baby's growing up today. Another thing I want to update you guys on for Marcella before we start the birthday party is she wants to start selling her books. And Marcella's been thinking about this ever since she had Patricia. She wants to start helping James bring income in. Like, we're not struggling for money or anything like that. Like, we have more than enough money. I set up some bank accounts for them, so that's why we only have 3,000. Well, almost 3,000. So, we're good on money. It's just, Marcella, she's just like, other than writing these books out of pure enjoyment, I want to help bring in some income. I'm just gonna have her come publish these books really quickly. And yes, birthday party is about to begin. Roll is calling us. Congratulations on your recent birthday. Aw, thanks, Grandpa. That's really sweet of him. That's super duper sweet. Um, while Marcella goes and publishes her books and the guests show up, James wants to talk to Aiden, but I'm gonna have him come here and grill something. Maybe we can grill some hot dogs for like the kids and plantains or some fruit or something for everyone else. We have to play games at the same time for the birthday party and he wants to play games anyways. So I think when his cousins come over, they can play some games. Oh, she's thinking about the baby. Once we're done with this birthday party, I think I'll put her pregnancy back on. The most recent book that Marcella wrote has been nominated for an award. Check out the next award ceremony Sunday at 7pm to see if she won. That's really cool. Oh my goodness. Congrats, Marcella. Even if you didn't win, congrats. That it even went up for to be nominated for an award. Let's just be publishing some more of her books. Why are cousins really sad? Why is everyone really sad? What happened? But when she's done publishing her book, maybe we can cheer her up. Hey, I'm just having Marcella try and cheer up Gabriella to the best of her abilities. I think Aiden's going upstairs to talk to his cousin. And then his other cousin, Bailey's here. James is working on the grill. Oh, he's just got done. That's really good, actually. So we can put the food out. Here, and then let's put the girl plantains over here and let's probably form a group as well with everyone so they can come eat together all right james is just about to make some ice cream uh all the cousins oh they're finally coming downstairs but they're gonna go play some games together marcella is sharing the news about her pregnancy while trying to share up Gabriella. It's just her and Ethan that's sad, so I'm not really sure what's going on. But hopefully she feels better. Marcella's getting hungry because she's pregnant. But I just want to quickly tell the family that we're having another little one. They all seem to be excited for us so far, so that's really good. Um let's share the big news to him as well. Sorry if this is all over the place. I'm really just trying my best to coordinate everyone. Oh my, the kids are in here playing their video games. This is really cute. <laughs> I need to get a screenshot of this. Look at all of them. They're like all around the same age-ish now. Aiden and Bailey are about the same age. Ethan's a little bit older than them. So he might be a teen soon. <laughs> but they look like they're having fun. And I think uncle's just supervising. Alright, but let's have the family members come back here. I think- Oh no, she's making a mess. But I'm not gonna discipline her. That's, we're not in a position to do that. Um, or our mom's helping herself to some food. That's good. Let's uh, call to eat. And then, why don't you guys come eat as well? I think they're done chatting and hearing about the baby that's coming. 
so I'm gonna have them all grab some filled plantains. Patricia's sad up here. What's going on, baby? She needs a nap. Okay. I'm just gonna treat her needs for today and I'm gonna teleport her down here so that she can probably interact with her cousin. I'm gonna just cheat over her sadness as well. I don't wanna be sad. <laughs> but when her cousin's done eating, she can probably come hang out with her. Just like her brother's hanging out with cousins here. Oh! Jabari joined the kids on the game. Oh my god, that is so stinking cute. I have never seen a sim just come sit and join in the game. Like, so casually. They usually don't. <laughs> so stinking cute well i'm gonna have them play and enjoy themselves while everyone else fixes the no why are you eating my okay this is why i hate sims coming into my house because they're coming in here on my grill and my stove and making these de-stressed whatever they're called Okay, I think everyone's having a great time. Most of them are coming outside for some food. I'm gonna have uh, Aiden and Fizz grab some ice cream since it's done. Um, Miss Patricia here was talking with her grandpa, but oh, she wants to wave at her cousin. Oh, she's waddling all the way over here. I don't know why, but as soon as Marcella or Done. I'm gonna have them um, help Patricia to blow out the candles. I love this. The whole family's together. This is too stinking cute. I'm really happy that they're all here. This is really nice. Guys, the kids are enjoying their ice cream. Nice. Um, let's see. James, can you come here and potentially help? Patricia H up. Oh, and James's sister is here as well. That's really cool. And she got herself some ice cream. Nice. We'll have to come and give her a hug and a big thank you for coming. Um, I don't know why Christy is so tense, but she needs to relax a little bit. Um, can you help Patricia blow her candles? There you go coming over oh they're trying confetti wait i need to get some screenshots it's gonna be so cute oh i wish that her aunt wasn't so sad but it's okay i also wish that her mom was sitting here instead oh there we go she's blowing out her candle Good job, Bean. See if I can get a better angle. <laughs> there you go. I'm so proud of you. It's gonna be a big girl now. And she can go play with her cousin. Alright. Um, I'm gonna randomize her trait. And if I don't like it, then I'll look at what traits you can give her. Independent. All right, she's gonna be a toddler. I forgot. <laughs> All right, she's an independent bean. I think Aiden was independent as well, wasn't he? That's really cool. I get for a makeover later, but in the meantime, I'm gonna have the birthday girl come take a piece first and foremost, and then everyone else can get a piece of cake as well before the birthday party ends we did have a good birthday party so i'm glad maybe you can even come get a drink and i want you to say hi to your sister james again i apologize if this birthday party is all over the place i'm really trying my best it's, just, it's hard with all these sims <laughs> so oh i hope she's not leaving i really wanted to say hi to her I also wanted to invite her to stay over for the summer vacation. So let's, um, I don't know, do conversation. Let's try that and see how that works out. My cell is cleaning up. She's like, I can't stand this mess. 
There's no way. Come take a piece to my cellar. Where is she going? I think she's coming to get some cake as well, maybe. Oh, I don't think she's really happy that her family's here, but it's okay. Um, why don't you come get a drink as well? Are you enjoying your cake, baby? Happy birthday! I think she's enjoying it. It's like, ooh, ice cream. Ice cream cake, that's nice. Um, can you come fill Charlie's bowl? And I think you guys had more than enough ice cream. So I'm gonna go put it in the fridge. Maybe you guys should actually have some food. So let's come eat together. And you guys can get some drinks as well. Oh, Elena is coming here. So maybe Patricia could come talk to Elena. You could finally come talk to your cousin. And you guys could hang out together. I don't know how to have the adults make a toast, but it's okay. Someone get in the pool? Oh yeah, a neighbor did. <laughs> okay. But I think overall this is a pretty good birthday party. So I'm probably gonna wrap up the party. Just have them hang out with the family a little bit longer. And then I'll see you guys in the morning. Alright, so it's the next morning and everyone's slowly waking up. Patricia and James were actually the first two to be awake, as well as Jubilee, James's sister. Our washing machine unfortunately broke, so we're gonna have to fix that. But oh, oh she wants to go chat with Jubilee. Uh, why don't you come use the toilet? She wants to clean something anyway, so she can come clean the toilet when she's done with it. Um, I think Julie, Ju Julie is just making herself familiar with the house. I don't know why I called her Julie. Um, but Miss Patricia here is going to come watch some TV with her dad because James wanted to actually watch TV with a toddler. And she just got the quirk that she loves sounds. Patricia seems to really love anything that makes sound. Toddlers with this quirk tend to be fascinated with radios, TVs, and toys that make sounds. They'll even babble more. Okay. That's really cool. But she's just watching TV with her dad. They're bonding. And you guys will get to see her outfits as we play along. But this is just one of her sleepwears that she's wearing right now. I think she's so stinking cute. Aiden just woke up. Good morning to you too. Why don't you come here? Oh, is Charlie sick? Oh no, Charlie's sick. Um, but you can come take a bath and I'm gonna brush your teeth. All right, I never showed you guys the kids' bedroom. So this is Aiden's bedroom here. I really like how it turned out. I try to stick to the dinosaur theme but add some other kid things. So he might be into void critters. He really likes video games. He still likes his dinosaurs. So we have quite a few of those. Um, I got him like a little gaming tablet because he's really into games. I have a little bot on top here. He has pictures with his family. Up here, some drawings and some crafts. And um, I think he has a dinosaur lamp. Yeah, I gave him a dinosaur lamp. I thought it was really cute. I really like how his room turned out. And then uh, Patricia's room. It's really simple because she's a little Todd, but she really likes pink, blue, and purple. So I tried to give the room pastel and in those colors. So yeah, nothing much changed with her room. I just gave her basically a toddler bed and some toys but you little miss would you like to go potty here for me and then jubilee is staying with us for like another night or two and i really want the kids to get to know her marcella as well because we barely know her so i really want them to take this time to bot charlie no, this is why you're sick. Okay, let's come lecture Charlie about 
eating trash and let's clean this up is our laundry dirty too no it's not okay luckily that's why you're getting sick charlie you're doing stuff like that around the house that's not good for you are you eating up here bud at least sit and eat <laughs> and then what does he want to do let's find a collectible because he's a geek okay literally everybody is asking to be best friends his sister just asked us to be best friends and i'm gonna say no to that because they're very distant and this is like the first time in a really long time that they spend time together so i'm not having that happen there's really nothing much going on today unfortunately but it's okay all right it is the next morning and marcella is waking up today we're gonna go get our archer sound and this time we actually get to take a james with us because last time he had work so he wasn't able to come but this time he can so i'm really excited for that i'm gonna have her just organize herself get some breakfast on the table really quickly so that everyone can eat and then let's just do a fruit salad this morning uh jubilee's up as well as well as aiden which i'm surprised that he's up right now because he stayed up all night with jubilee playing video games and they really bonded over that really well so i think we're just gonna have them and do that again today also it is one of the things that we can do for summer vacation so we can go out and have some fun in the water which it looks like today's gonna stay sunny i hope it stays that way um we also need to take charlie to the vet so after we go to the ultrasound i think i'm gonna do that all right we're here at the hospital so that we can get our ultrasound kids are getting taken care of by their aunt and i'm really excited for marcella to get her ultrasound this time and james is gonna be here actually first things first i wanna ask him if he can accompany us for the childbirth and then we'll go get our ultrasound okay well, we're gonna go get our scan james why don't you jog over here for me please oh look at her she's waddling coming in let's bring back memories when we came here with our aunt for our ultrasound for miss patricia oh my goodness and now we're here again for our third child hopefully the last because we don't have space for another so this one has to be the last there you go, the doctor's gonna start. Oh. <gasps> and James is sitting here with us. Oh my goodness. This is so stinking cute. I'm so glad that James is here. I'm sure Marcella's glad as well. And James, he's like, what is going on? That's my child? He's on that screen. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my god, he's like, alright, so there you go, that's your little baby in there. I'm pretty sure you're familiar, but for your husband, there you go, that's the head. And you can probably see his little arms starting to develop. <laughs> it's looks so happy. James is like, this is interesting. <laughs> there you go. I need to get my screenshots, I'm sorry. Okay. We got our ultrasound. And let's see what the gender of the baby is. The ultrasound scan shows that you're expecting a healthy baby boy. They're gonna have another boy in the house. <laughs> Tim's is shocked. It's like Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, 
I think also I'm gonna leave this episode off right here. We got quite a bit covered and done. The next episode, I'm pretty sure we're gonna have the baby. But we're also gonna be spending more time with Jubilee. I really want the family to bond with her since she's been distant from us for so many years. And now that she's finally here, I think James and the rest of the family really wants to take this opportunity to, you know, have the kids and them get together and have a good time. So, yeah, I think I think this is a good point to stop here. We had Patricia's birthday and a lot has happened. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe because there will be more. Leave a comment down below on what you think. And I'll see you guys when I see you guys. Bye!